Um, and so we'll get clients who say, well, yeah, we got you know the cheapest pen test we could find. It was just standard run-of-the-mill testing firm trying to test our device, and we got kicked back. What's going on? They'll send us their defic deficiency notice from the FDA. I'll read it, and it says the same thing that it always says, which is you never accounted for patient harm. You never accounted for protected health information data loss. Um, and then I think inversely, going way too overboard, and I think this might be sort of like a reactionary response from clients who have received a rejection in the past. They'll say, we want you to test everything on the device and we go great we can do that and then they say and then we want you to carve it apart we want you to you know try fault injection onto every chip we want you to try to break into the debug ports i want you to dismantle everything like every single piece and they go why you don't need to do that that's not it's not a requirement you don't have to shred this device apart and they go well the fda says you need to you know have a control in place for these things and we go, yeah, the control in place is someone would need to, you know, take like a crowbar and smash the machine to get to these chips. And I think you'd notice if someone did that. So clients will, you know, and manufacturers, they'll just swing back and forth into each direction. They're not sure where that middle ground is. And that's why we recommend you, know, you have to find someone who knows how to do a medical device, FDA centric penetration test. And then. Like we know the balance, we know how to get a device, we know what we have to test, we know what the documentation looks like because we've done it a thousand times.